Hello and welcome to this section where we're going to learn how to use the undo and the redo functions of Excel. In order to illustrate that, let me go ahead and type some data in here. Let me type some numbers in. So 2.15. We'll get some practice with, uh, with autofill as well. Let me do 2.18. I'll highlight both of these guys and I'll use autofill to use the pattern. Excel will fill out everything according to the pattern that I had defined there. So this is the data I want to do there. Let me go ahead and do some additional formatting. Let me make that bold. Let me make it italic. Let me go ahead and underline that data. And then let me go up above to the, to the uh, titles there. Let me go up to the titles there uh, that these guys are highlighted. And let's do something like make it a blue text, let's say. So we've added some data. We've made them bold, italics, and so on. And we've made some changes to the uh, column headings that we have here. Now let's say that we thought we've made a mistake. Um, changing these to blue really wasn't what I wanted to do. So very easily, if you look in the upper left hand corner, you see a backwards arrow which is undo. And it actually tells you undo font because that's the last thing that I worked on. Notice the uh, control Z tells you that control Z is going to do the undo function. So if I press it one time, then the last thing I did which was changing that to blue you know, reverts back and, and that's un, undone. Now let's say I decide, well, I really did like it blue to be